everybody welcome back to my channel today we have day nine of the christmas craft challenge and for today's craft challenge we're going to be using the paper tree a christmas journey so let's jump into it hi everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today today we have day nine of the christmas craft challenge and as with all of my other craft challenges, I do try to show you um, cards from different things. And today I wanted to get out the Paper Tree, a Christmas Journey die cut collection with the matching card collection. So let's move the card collection out of the way and let's have a look at the die cut sheets that they've got. So if you haven't already seen this craft haul, um, these came earlier in the week and i haven't had a chance to use this one yet they were all on offer if you haven't had a chance do go and have a look on my channel at the craft hall this came from creative crafting world and there was a lot of things that i bought an awful lot um this one seems to be more of like a traditional vintage style christmas collection which i do really like so i wanted to show you um and, and make a card with them now i must admit i really like i think i like this one i think i'm going to make a card with this one to be honest and what i'm going to do is i really want to add some of my nouveau glitter drops to these bits of snow here to really make that glisten and stand out so it's all die cut so let's push this that's those i'm not sure if i'm going to use them or not but i've popped them out so that i've got them if i want them so i'm going to move those to that side and then i know i definitely want to make a six by six card because i haven't made a six by six card in a while and that topper is going to fit beautifully look at the size of that topper any smaller card blank and that would just look far too big so I really want a sentiment Christmas celebrations yes I really like that one that one over there And then I'm going to grab my essential card collection. Now they had the like dark red edging, which I think I might stick with. I think that helps to make that green stand out. So let's go for that one. Yeah. And then because I'm going to use the red background, I'm not going to bother using those little um, like edge pieces. Put those over there. So then we have this and we have this. I 
Now I'm thinking. I think I'm going to make this into an easel card. So, won't take too long. I'm going to take off these little notches. So, I'm going to do the same for this one. I think that if we have that as an easel card, with that down as the base, I think that's going to be beautiful. Extra little sparkle from the Nouveau Glitter Drops. Let's do it. Let's do it. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my card base. I'm going to bring in my adorable Scorable. I do apologise, it's quite big. This is from Hunky Dory and it's their adorable Scorable scoreboard. Um, we have inches on one side of the scoreboard. Oops, wrecking the shop. And then we have it in centimetres down the other side as well. It's quite big, it goes 12 by 12. So it should be big enough for, if not all of your projects, certainly a lot of your projects. It also has the scoring tool. Apologies for the noise. There we go. Um, that sits in really nicely so you can keep it all together. And then you have, it's like a bone folder, so you can reinforce that score mark that you've got. I know that this should be a 6x6, six six, though sometimes they're a little bit off, which... That one is, it's one notch off. So I'm going to put it in just one notch under the three by three because I don't ha mind having a slightly smaller one side. Oops. There we go. So now I can, now I've got that scored. I can fold that. I'm going to move my scoring board out of the way. Reinforce that crease. And now it's going to sit like that once we've built it all up. Put that away before I lose it. It's the last thing I want to do. Then I need to cut this down. So I'm going to, I just want this um, to sit on here. And I think I do want a little bit of a white edge. So we now know that this is slightly under six by six. So I'm going to bring in my Crafters Companion and to be fair, if you wanted to, this does also have the scoring capability too. So it's got all of these grooves in at the small size and it does include a scoring tool. So I could have done it on here instead if I wanted to. Um, to be totally honest, I always forget that's there. I use this more as a cutter and that one as the um, scoring tool. Um, so yeah, so we know it's slightly under six by six and I want to give it a little bit of a border anyway. So I'm going to come in at five and a half by five and a half, to be honest. And then this is going to sit on here like that. So we'll get it leveled up. And then when that stands up, you will then have the Christmas tree on there. Or if you wanted to, you could... It should work. You could put like a crease in on the red and stick the entire sheet down and just stick the tree to the bottom half so that in like for me because i sell my cards in my wrapper it would look like this but then when the customer actually got it home it would have the tree freestanding which 
which I think I want. Sorry, guys, I went a bit quiet there. I, I was I was thinking in my head. I was man mentally trying to work out what I was doing. Um, so let's bring this back in. So I know that this is on a should be five and a half. Yeah. So, if I come in at two and three quarters, follow the line. Turn this, fold it. has the fold in it should be able to stick that down oh, the fold hasn't actually gone where I wanted it look So despite using the measuring side of things, that hasn't actually gone where I wanted it, look. So I don't like that. I'm gonna put that to one side. It won't go to waste. I'll use it for something else, but I don't like the placement of that. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna cut another five and a half by five and a half. I want it to look as equal as I possibly can, so. I'd sooner just recut it. Five and a half by five and a half. Put that down. So I have a new piece. Let's get this stuck down level where I want it. So I am still on my original roll for the ATG. I do have a spare one ready to put on it, but I'm not willing to put it on until this one's actually run out officially. I do want this piece to have plenty of sticky now. I'm gonna take my car blank and I'm gonna level this up. So that now has a really nice white border. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, bring back the scoreboard, get that so that's leveled up into a crease. Bring back down this. What that's done is that's put a little crease now into this side. Then I'm going to fold it. And now we have the easel card. So when it's laid down in the envelope, it'll look like that. Then as soon as they pull it up, it will sit like that with the Christmas tree on top like that. So let's get my um, decoupage tape and I need to put some 3D decoupage along this bottom here. Put that back before I lose it.
There we go. So it looks like that and then it will flick up and look like that. Now the inside of your card, you can definitely add some colour in. I don't want anything too dark that they can't write on it. That's the biggest thing. But this pack has some like pale grey colours. I think I might go for a sheet of this. And again, I'm going to go for that same five and a half to layer in the bottom. Separate back the cutter. again in as level as we can on the inside there we go then we're going to take the sentiment that we cut out and then because i want i need this to hold up that easel part i'm going to double decoupage this Then you need to make sure it's as straight as you can get it and where you want the easel to sit, okay? There we go. So, now that the base design is done, I want to take my Nouveau Drops. I've got the, what's this one? White Blizzard. Because I want to give this a little bit more. I want to give it something a little bit shiny. But I still really like that vintage feel. And I think it's going to work really well where the like snow is. Where they've tried to almost give it like a, a, a sparkly feel. But if we actually add a little bit of sparkle on here. I don't really want the depth. So I'm not bothered about it going on thick. I just want the glitter. I'm doing is I'm dropping it on and spreading it around So I'm going to leave that to dry, um, but that will just add a little bit of extra glitter to the card once that's all dry. And I think that is beautiful. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. I'm trying to do um, 
different things so hopefully you've enjoyed the easel card for a change if you have enjoyed this video then please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know each and every time we post a video we are doing the september christmas craft challenge so there will be videos coming every single day throughout this month that will be a christmas inspired card um some of them will definitely be full on christmas i've got a couple either already made or planned that may be more wintry themed as opposed to full-on christmas that can be used as christmas cards but also as like winter birthdays or winter celebrations thank you so much for joining me here today have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow bye for now